In today's video, Paul Acosta thinks the UFC is planning something between him and Kamaru Usman. Luke Rockhold goes off on UFC fighter pay. Dana White responds to Rockhold's title shot talk. Francis Ngannou supports Luke Rockhold's position. Also reveals UFC sponsorship cost him a million dollar opportunity. And Kamaru Usman responds to Leon Edwards' accusations. Paul Acosta thinks the UFC is planning something between him and welterweight champion Kamaru Usman. Costa tweeted a video originally shared by the UFC's Twitter handle that shows himself and Usman in the process of a photo shoot. The caption accompanying the tweet by Boracinha reads, Seeing this, I figured maybe UFC are planning something between me and Usman. During an interview with BT Sport, Costa also discussed his friendship with Patty Pimlet. Patty is amazing guy. <laughs> He's amazing. I love this way to, you know, to handle everything. So happy as well as me. Uh, so, I, I think I, I found some motivate on him on his way, because you know he he don't care too much. He just came do an amazing job. And the people is with him, and yeah. I'm with him as well. I support him a lot, and I think he do the same. Costa also challenged the Scouser for an ice cream eating competition. But we do uh, 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 some hangout after the, that fight. Uh, maybe an uh, ice cream competi eat competition. <laughs> Let's see who eat more ice cream. <laughs> so is that the challenge? You and Paddy, ice cream eating yeah, competition? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I asked him to do that, and... Yeah, as a friend competition, of course, and he had said. It's a, it's a very tough challenge for me. <laughs> Luke Rockhold hasn't been impressed with what has happened to fighter pay in recent times. With the UFC's compensation in the news once again thanks to a Dana White quote, the former UFC middleweight champion went off on the subject ahead of his fight with Paulo Costa at UFC 278 on Saturday. Rockhold specifically took issue with a lack of increase in fighter pay relative to the UFC's growth in recent years, and a lack of healthcare support. Here's the clip. The, the company is growing and they're implementing other little stupid ass bonuses. $5,000 here, $5,000 there. $50,000, man. We've been stuck on this motherfucker for 20 years. I mean, back when GSP fought Jake, what is it, 100,000? And there was growing. There was, there was, when Lorenzo and Frank were running the show, there was real grounding wires. These guys don't, they don't know what they're doing. They're letting Dana just run the show and suppress the sport. This, they need to grow. This whole thing needs to grow together. Our lives are on the line. Healthcare needs to be taken care of. Our health needs to be taken care of. Mine is not, has not been taken care of. You know what I mean? It's like, there's a lot of people that there's a lot of things need to change. It's like, I'm just not going to be scared to say it. Everyone wants to because they want to get that title shot. They want to move up. And they, I've done it all and then it's like yeah this is business every business is like this it's about laying leverage it's a game of leverage and life and it's about always keeping the upper hand it's it's not just here it's everywhere and if you let these mother think that they have that leverage it's only going to grow above you so it's just people understanding their worth dana white has responded to luke rockhold's title shot talk during a recent interview with helen Yi. Rockhold insisted that he'll accept nothing but a title shot should he add the name Paulo Costa to his record. Now, in an interview with MMA Underground's John Morgan ahead of his promotion's next pay-per-view, Dana White discussed Rockhold's comeback and dampened his hopes of securing a title shot with a victory over Costa this weekend. He stated, Costa's ranked number 6 in the world. To say that if he beats Paulo Costa, you know, and he got beat by the champion in 2.3 seconds, I mean... This is normal Rockhold babble. But if he, Rockhold, wants to sit out and wait for a title shot, 
knock yourself out. This is a fight for him that I'm assuming would probably, you know, if you win or you lose. If you win, all right, I'm back. I'm in the middleweight division. And if you lose, I don't know. Maybe you see the window closing. Former UFC middleweight champion Luke Rockhold shared his frustration at Wednesday's media day as he sounded off about fighter pay. Apparently, Francis Ngannou watched Rockhold's interview and his words inspired the heavyweight champ to fire off a series of tweets critical of the UFC's sponsorship restrictions. According to Ngannou, he lost out on a deal worth over a million dollars because of the UFC's sponsorship deal with a cryptocurrency platform. He tweeted, Listening to Luke's interview was very pertinent. A lot of things that nobody is talking about and the company just rolls with it. Fighters are ripped off with sponsorship. It's a huge source of revenue for us, but the company keeps exploiting that for their own benefit. Francis continued by writing, I understand that the sport needs to look good with uniforms, but we should at least have a right for a minimum of two approved sponsors for in the octagon. And in the final tweet, he wrote, Last year, I lost a deal of over a million dollars from a crypto exchange because of the partnership with Crypto.com. What do I got from it? What do you guys make of UFC sponsorships? Should fighters have their own sponsors in the octagon? Let us know in the comments below. Ahead of his welterweight title defense Saturday at UFC 278, Kamaru Usman's opponent, Leon Edwards, accused him of allowing fame and fortune to get to his head leaving him vulnerable to be dethroned at UFC 278. Now Usman responded to Edwards' comments during a recent media scrum. Here's the clip. Exactly how I feel. You know, brother does a movie and everybody say he Hollywood now. But guess what? When I was in college eating $5 Little Caesars pizza for, and I was surviving off of that for two days and eating ramen noodles for the whole week, you know what I did? I dreamt of getting to a point where I didn't have to do that. I could walk into any steakhouse, order whatever I wanted on there. I could tell my mom and dad, hey, you guys want to go there? Got you. Let's go there. You guys want to fly private? Got you. Let's do that. You know, I always dreamt of that. And I wondered. I, I always wanted that. So I put the work in to get to the point. To get to the point where I always wanted silk shirts. I, you know, you wear those cotton shirts. You wash them once or twice, shrink on you. You know, now I can wear silk shirts. I always wanted that. Usman also said he eventually wants to be bigger than Dwayne Johnson. Of course, I put the work in and I got that. But that doesn't stop me. I want to be bigger than Dwayne Johnson. Bigger than him. So that means I need more work. So this notion of when people say, oh, you're Hollywood now, it's going to his head. That is ridiculous to me. And if he's thinking that, that's the biggest misconception. It'll be a short night for him come Saturday night. Here are the top three memes we found on the internet. Third place was found on Facebook and was posted by a user named Ricardo F. Our second place pick was found on Reddit and was posted by a user named Harates. And our number one meme was found on Facebook and was posted by a user named Francisco. Every day, we search the internet for the funniest MMA memes and post them to our fan page on Facebook called MMAMemes.com. If you want your meme to be included in our next video, just send it to us in private message on Facebook. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.